Oh, doesn't a quiet retreat sound nice in the middle of the week? Uh, it's pretty quiet weather, at least around Greenville. We haven't had much in the way of storms, but there have been a few on radar. I'm going to show those to you in just a second, but you can see lots of sunshine, intense heat over 85 and 385 currently. Um, and we're going to continue to see that as we roll into the next couple of hours. Right now it's 93 in Greenville, 93 in Lawrence, 88 up in Asheville, essentially low to mid 90s south of 85, where we haven't had much in the way of rain at all. As we look at future heat index, it's going to be looking good as we head into later on this evening, but it's certainly going to be hot leading up to about 7, 8 o'clock tonight. So here's a look at the two storms we have going on here. We've had some new development around uh, northern Pickens County. It's kind of getting stronger there. Uh, you can see a cluster of lightning strikes uh, not too far off from Table Rock State Park. All of that's going to be shifting down toward the south. So really on top of you in Table Rock, uh, moving toward Hendricks, uh, Traveler's Rest, rather, Hendricks, Paris Mountain hitting those northern communities, but eventually this could hold together and affect you around Greenville and easily. We'll watch it. Signs are, at least from the latest model data, that likely it's going to start to diminish in the next couple of hours, so likely won't hold on to the intensity, but can't rule it out when it's this hot and humid. We've got heavy storms continuing around Dysartsville uh, in McDowell County and Rutherford County, seeing some heavy rain in the northeast corner. In the next 24 hours tonight, any shower and storm activity is going to fall apart pretty fast, and temperatures will drop into the 60s and 70s out there. In your hometown highs for tomorrow, Chesney at 92, Pauline 94, Simpsonville at 94 as well. A chance of an afternoon storm, uh, but only about 20% tomorrow. Around 94 in Williamston and Calhoun Falls, Bowman checking in around 93. I'll be looking at 80s in western North Carolina. A little better chance of rain in the mountains tomorrow. So here's a look at Feature Track. This is for 5 o'clock. This is our short range model, kind of picking up on what's happening now and showing what's going to happen with it. And you can see that heavy storm in Pickens County slides south, and not a whole lot happens with it, but we could certainly get some downpours uh, south of that action through Anderson County, Abbeville, into Elbert County. And then into Wednesday, we'll do it all over again, but notice it's just going to be fairly sparse activity. A couple heavy downpours can't be ruled out. So in your next three days, we'll be looking ahead to a little less rain on Wednesday, but then those storms fire back up for Thursday and Friday. Scattered storms into this weekend too. So about a 40% chance each day. Doesn't mean your house is going to get hit on any particular day, but between the end of the week and the weekend, you'll probably see a pretty good downpour at some point. In the mountains, looking at those scattered storms, a 50-50 shot Thursday through the weekend. And then we'll continue that storm threat into Monday and Tuesday. 